What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in. This morning we are working on this rude pool heater heat pump. There's our model serial number. Customer's complaint. As soon as they raise the temperature on the touchpad to a temperature to heat the pool, as soon as the fan and the compressor kicks on, it immediately cuts off and they're noticing that the circuit breaker in the garage, the main panel, is in the trip position. This pool heater requires a, minute, a maximum breaker of 60 and a minimum breaker of 50, all right? It has eight pounds, five ounces of R410A factory charged. It is plug and play, ladies and gentlemen. Hook up your inlet and outlet water lines, hook up your line voltage power, our grounding wire for bonding, a fireman switch or automation control for automation. So the first thing we're gonna do, right? Since we know that the breaker is tripping, we're gonna kill power at our disconnect. We're gonna pull this plug out. Okay, it was in the off position. Now it's back, now that would be the on position. We're gonna leave this off to the top and we're gonna start our troubleshooting procedures. All right, I apologize for the video and audio quality. Let me tell you what I did. I removed the front cover, right, that contains the control panel. It's, uh, eh, it's a bad design because we have no real room here to play. So it may be a good idea to remove this ground wire. That way you have a little more flexibility with the wiring here. Still not that much more, but whatever, something's better than nothing. So let's not lose this or that. Put that right here. And so since we have the breaker tripping immediately upon compressor start, what we want to check for are shorts for ground. You're going to need a multimeter. Here's the Fluke 902 FC. Uh, I use, this is my daily go-to clamp-on multimeter. It allows me to check for amperage, voltage and AC, DC, resistance, continuity, temperature. All right, if I want to check temperature with a thermal couple of the pool water, uh, read to capacitor, capacitance, and amperage, of course. So we're going to set that to read continuity, and it's a really good habit to touch the two terminal leads together for that audible signal that you hear right now, okay? And you're going to see we have that noise. Okay, now, here's our two terminals, or two wires that are moved from the top of the contactor. Here's our contactor. Uh, we have L1, L2 coming in on the bottom. This is line one, line two, which equal 240 volts, 110, 120 on each. The contactor, right, gets a signal, uh, 110 volts or 24 volts. Uh, this is actually a 24 volt coil. So 24 volts will pull in the coil, right, and then energize T1, T2. When it does that, it's going to send power to these wires go into the compressor. So now we want to check to see if there's any shorts to ground. So I have one lead on one, and we're going to find the good ground on another. And we have short to ground there. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one right there. Also short to ground. Okay. Now here's an example of just verifying short to ground. So here's a ground right there. Here's another ground right there. Hear that? Same principle. All right. If I take my ground wire that went to that control bezel and put it here, Short to ground, put it there. Short to ground. Let's remove that, the herm wire from our dual capacitor and let's do one there and one here. Also shorts to ground. The compressor wiring is shorted to ground. We, now we want to inspect the wiring, make sure there's no shorts there. So, I'm gonna put a voltmeter off to the side for right now. I'm gonna leave all my wiring disconnected, okay? That went there, these two went there and there respectfully. Next, we're gonna move the top cover, right, of this heat pump for the pool. So, we're gonna move those screws there. There's one. Unfortunately, there's no easy way of getting in there. We're gonna have to go from the top down. You know, I guess I also could have removed the top. Yeah, 
let's remove the top instead. Let me put these screws back. And I'm going to remove the entire top housing just so I can get a little more access. So let's remove. I mean, put back the screws we took out. And then we're going to remove our top. Oh, okay, there we go. And it's good practice to keep yourself organized while you're working. All right, so you don't lose any tools in the process. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves is losing tools on a job. The tools are your, one of your most expensive investments when you're doing this kind of work. The trades, HVAC, plumbing, working on pool heaters, for example. I'm going to scooch back over here, being careful where I step. We do have a lot going on here. Not very service friendly, but trust me, I've seen much worse. Okay. Oh, I dropped one. I dropped one. Oh, okay. We'll get that later. Well, probably not. Keeping it real. She's gone. Okay. I've removed all the screws. Let's lift up this. And let's try to push this off to the side if it allows me to. Perfect. Look at that. Now, let's do a quick little visual inspection. We have a low pressure switch here. We have some capillary tubing going to our TXV. There's the sensing bulb for the TXV with the capillary tubing going to there. Distributor going to our coil. This is it's normally we call this a condensing coil on a central air conditioning system, but since this is a heat pump, this is the evaporator coil. And there's our compressor. Got a receiver there. And over there, that would be our high pressure switch. There's a filter dryer. So now we want to check to see if we have any issues with the wire. We're going to take off that, that uh, harness. So let's see if I can carefully climb up there okay I'm going to try to do this once ladies and gentlemen and it's a very 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 careful balancing act I'm going to set this to read continuity again I'm going to put that in there so it's nearby and now I'm going to get in here Okay, we're disconnected, <clears throat> so now let's check our terminals uh, one by one to ground. Copper's are ground, we're short to ground there, short to ground there, short to ground there and see, same thing, short to ground, short to ground, short to ground. <clears throat> The compressor is shot. And that's how you verify a failed compressor.